Blessed Love, Sheeta Davis, The Really Nourish Movement. This is GMO 101, the Food Revolutionary's Crash Course in GMOs. Here we go. In the 1970s, scientists who worked for chemical companies figured out how to take the gene from one organism that expresses a certain trait and insert it into the cell of another. The results? genetically modified or genetically engineered organisms. One of the two most common applications of GMO technology is to create crops that are naturally deadly to insects. These seeds and the crops they grow are actually certified by the FDA as insecticides. The other common application of GMO technology is to create crops that are resistant to herbicides so farmers can blanket spray their fields with chemicals and kill weeds without killing the crops themselves. What concerns most food revolutionaries about the built-in pesticide trait is that it makes food inherently toxic, kills friendly bugs too like ladybugs and honeybees, and promotes the evolution of increasingly resistant superbugs. As far as herbicide resistance, this has just promoted Increase use of herbicidal chemicals on your food and then super weeds which call for stronger and stronger chemical formulas of herbicides. More than 60 countries have already required GMO labeling of all food. We're only now going to start seeing that in the United States. Here's what it means to you. Dirty food. The ingredients in this product were sprayed with lots of toxic chemicals that are known to cause cancer and other health problems in animals and humans. GMOs are required to go through only minimal testing and that testing is left up to the people who produce them. What do you think the results are going to say? The few independent studies that have been done, like the one by Gilles-Eric Seralini at the University of Caen in France, should have you really concerned. Lab rats that were fed small amounts of GMO BT corn and Roundup herbicides suffered from liver and kidney damage, huge cancerous tumors and earlier deaths than control subjects. Many in the industry denounced his report that he even received death threats. Before these companies were making chemicals to spray on your food, they were making Agent Orange, DDT, Nerve Gas and Napalm to kill our foreign enemies. After World War II in Vietnam, their scientists reformulated all those same chemical weapons of mass destruction into agrochemicals that are still in use today. GMO technology has farmers under oppression worldwide. In 1980, Congress made it legal to patent seeds, so now chemical companies could charge more for seed and impose unfair contracts that prohibit seed saving and require farmers to buy chemicals and pay technology patent fees. Food revolutionaries, it's time to take action. Boycott GMOs. If you see it on the label, don't buy it. Stick to organic and non-GMO project verified. Let your elected officials know they need to defend your right to clean food. It worked with the Dark Act and eat less meat. Much of the GMO corn and soy is used for animal feed. All right now, food revolutionaries, get the word out. Share this video with everyone you touch. The Really Nourish Movement is on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Periscope. Go to reallynourish.com for more information. Sheeta Davis and I'm out.